Questions 104 to 105 in the ASA Green Paper. Question 104. Of the following, the greatest decline in Salmonella numbers occurs during the... So we're given the days 4th day, 5th day, 6th day and 7th day. What we need to do is look at figure 1 and for line 1 figure out where the greatest drop is. The most important thing to note about figure 1 is that the scale on the y-axis is logarithmic. So initially our salmonella uh, population starts at population of 10 to the 7. 10 to the 7, which is equal to about what, 10 million. Now, we've got to figure out where the greatest drop is. So um, initially, over from about day 4 to day 5, um, or day 4, the population of the salmonella starts at about somewhere between 10 to the 5 and 10 to the 6. So let's just say 10 to the 6 to start with. So it starts at 1 mil. Um, and then it finishes at about 10 to the 4. Which is equal to 10,000. So over the course of one day, from the start of day 4 to the end of day 4, We've gone from 1 million to 10,000. We've lost 990,000. So therefore, we can uh, pretty confidently say that the greatest drop in uh, salmonella numbers is going to occur over the course of the fourth day because we're going to lose 990,000. Um, the other days, say for example day 5, even if we go from 10 to the 4 all the way down to even 0, which it doesn't, but let's say we go all the way down to 0, we lose the whole population over the course of the 5th day, we'd only lose 10,000 salmonella uh, bacteria. So uh, day 4 is clearly going to be the day where we lose the most, so A is the correct answer. Going on to question 105, which one of the following is the best estimate of the reduction in the size of the normal bacteria population between drenching and day 7? So the normal bacteria population is represented by line 2. And we go from drenching where our initial population is 10 to the 8. And we are going down uh, to day 7. Our day 7 population for the total bacteria line 2 is going to be about 10 to the 6. So we go from 100 million to 1 million. So the best estimate of the reduction will probably be about 100 million because we're going from 100 million to 1 million, that's a loss of 99 million. So, which is honestly about equal to 100 million, at least closest to 100 million um, in the scheme of the answers. So therefore, D is the correct answer for 105.